Hey guys, this is Heather and this is Fierce Fit Keto. This is my channel about my goal to lose 50 pounds in 12 months using a ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting to do so. This video is called Uncomfortable Part 2 and uh, this is some uncomfortable diary journals from back in 2017-2018. Uh, so if you're here to be supportive and share in my um, this part of my life, just keep watching. All right, you guys, thank you so much for sticking with me tonight. Uh, and thanks again for letting me kind of reach out and be a little bit vulnerable with you um, regarding these parts of my life. Uh, so just to recap, um, back in uh, 2017, I moved to Colorado. And at that point, I weighed roughly what I weigh right now, 200 to 205 pounds, something like that. That's what I weighed when I got engaged to be married in February of 17. Fast forward to December, I was uh, just shy of 230 pounds again, having gained about 25 pounds. And uh, I was in the pits of despair. Um, I was close to bankruptcy. Uh, I was lonely. Um, nobody was coming to visit me. No family members or anything came. Nobody was calling me. And I was I was just having a really hard time. Um, so uh, these videos do reference that. Um, so we're going to start out with a bang. This is the video that I, I don't know if I swore, but I really didn't want to share this. Basically, it's just me taking some before video of myself. And um, it's a horrible video. I shot it with a little handheld camera that I no longer have. So please uh, forgive me for the lack of sound quality and all of that. But this section really kind of sums up how I felt and how I looked. I just really was in a bad place. So let's go ahead and check that out now. All right, folks, I have to do this. I don't want to. Um, it's embarrassing. It's horrifying. It's everything that I hate about myself right now. Uh, but I do have to do some before. So I'm going to do it in the form of a video instead of in photos, I guess. Um, I guess so that you can see how just overall yucky I think this is. This is just one of the worst things I ever have to do. So uh, I'm not going to go all the way naked, but I've just got boy shorts on because I don't have a swimsuit that fits me. And none of my little boy shorts from um, working out fit me. Everything doesn't fit me. So I'm just going to go through. So this is an Old Navy, um, what do you call it, uh, ribbed tank, and it's an extra large. So this is obviously um, tight on me. Uh, back in the day when I was working out doing a lot of cardio, these were actually too big and I had to tie them in a knot in the back so that they didn't flop around. That's how bad this is. So this is what I look like. I'm about a size 14, 16. Um, I just weighed myself. Granted, it's 4.45 in the afternoon. I always am pretty he a lot heavier. Later in the day, the weight came back, um, but holding the camera at about 226 pounds, which means over the last about five or six days, I've gained like five pounds. In reality, it's probably about three. So this is what I look like. Um, I carry a lot of my weight over my belly button, as you can see. Um, when I lose weight, um, this all gets to be very loose and hanging skin. I don't have any of that right now. Um, for me, I've gained, that was very unpleasant by the way, um, I gain weight in my face a lot, so I really feel like I have a tremendous double chin. Um, I feel horrible, unsexy. I don't even know how my fiance can even look at me sometimes. I just hate it. It's gross. So that's day one. Um, I'm going to um, consistently weigh myself with the camera and everything in my hand so that, um, but I'll share with you what my weigh-ins in the mornings were and then what it was with the camera. And I'll try to weigh in at 4.45 in the afternoon every 
Monday. That doesn't mean I won't vlog every day, but I'm going to weigh in and measure and all of that every week. So uh, I'm going to go measure. I'll just pop that up somewhere on the screen. Um, should I choose to choose <laughs> actually share this someday? So, all right. That's it for today. Thank you. Okay, so the camera did not catch my lower body before, and I do want to share that. So here is my lower body. Um, I'm built like my mother, and I have a lot of this business and a lot of this business. Wow. Uh, that's hard to watch. That's hard for me really, uh, really to watch. And just knowing that I was so close to being back to where I started again, and just being in that place again, and just the pain and anguish that I felt on my, you know, I felt at the time, and I just wore it like a badge right across my face, and apparently right across my ass too. Um, so just just being able to see that rawness in myself and just the kind of pain, it's, it really speaks volumes to, you know, where I've gone since that. And I do attribute that once again to having a support system. So thank you for being part of my journey. Um, and I'd also like to comment, you know, if I talked about my body um, looking like my mother, which it, it really does. I have, you know, long legs, long thighs, and just big thighs and a well, right now, you know, a big booty, but, you know, just the way that I spoke in my, just the tone of my voice, you know, I'm really sorry for having spoken that way about my mother in that video. And in case you, you don't know, and I'll post a picture up here for you, uh, I lost my mother at 21 years old. Uh, she died of lung cancer, was a heavy smoker for a long time, and I, lo I lost her um, at a very young age, and I miss her to this day. And I really wish that, you know, I should... I, I want to celebrate being my mother's daughter, not, not showing that type of disdain. So I just want to send out apologies into the universe um, that I ever spoke about my mother that way. That was horrible. So I need to move on from that one. That one was really hard for me. Uh, the next video is, uh, I call it the haul. And um, it's, a, it's a tote full of clothing that I couldn't wear. And I went through that and did some comparison with the clothes I was in with, and some clothes that I have. Um, so let's go ahead and, and check that out. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is what my hair looks like. I know I say it all every time, but this is my hair. I uh, did my own balayage on August and I kind of fried it up pretty good but um, with Justin and I getting married at some point hopefully this year um, I'm gonna let this all grow out and be cool and I'm gonna stop cutting it myself um, <clears throat> I wanted to film what I am about to look at uh, this whoop, let me flip you around um, this is my box of goodies of all the things that I can't wear right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare what I have to currently wear for jeans and contrast to you where I would like to be. <clears throat> so these are my current size 16 jeans these fit me about perfect um these are my gold jeans right here i've got them all hung up um these are my i will wear again jeans these are a pair of victoria's secret they no longer make these jeans size 12 they fit like an eight. They're super, super snug. So you can see when I am able to put these on, that is what I want to wear. But in here, I don't even know what all is in here. But oh yes, this has 
my former sister-in-law actually got this for me. This fit me for all of about two weeks. Um, I know it says it's a size large, but these this came from Gordman's and their clothing runs very small. So yeah, this has not fit me. Um, honestly, since 2014 at least. And then I have all kinds of these pairs of pants. They say size 14, but they're very, very slender from um, Old Navy. And they're from the Mrs. section, Missy section. I don't think I ever fit into these. These are all size 14, but they are very snug. Now these I love. See, this pisses me off. These Calvin Klein capris fit me like a glove say size 14 but they fit like a 12 um, we'll get into the intimates in a little minute here yeah this has never fit me um, I got this I think in 2015 from um, my ex it was always super snug on the ladies very small Oh, I loved these. All of these, like, cute capris and stuff. I can't wear any of this. All too, way too small on the thighs. But I gain, I think I talked about it in my my first I'm so sad video. <laughs> um, this actually did fit me for a minute. But once again, very small. This is listed as a size XL, but some of these companies from China make stuff that's not sized right. But it was really snug on me. I have big boobs, so... Um, see, these still have the tags on them. Um, and these are actually a size 16. No, they're a 14. I've never been able to wear those. I bought them, I think, in 2015. And then... All of these. So, uh, I forgot to tell you, the reason that I wanted to film this was I just, my clothes just suck right now. And like these cute things that I have that I had gotten for gifts, I've never been able to wear these cute clothes. And I've got all of these things and I am not going out to buy more fucking clothes because all I have to do really is get my ass in gear and really you know build up some muscle and lose some fat and we'll be good these are Victoria's Secret pants that I bought um, before I had the PCOS issue and I've never been able to wear them. They're a size 12, I know it. And um, I just think that this color is beautiful, and I've never been able to wear them, and they're super long, and I just love them. This, oh God, I love this so much. So cute. I have not been able to wear that in years. Ah, I should be able to, and then, okay, all this is all of my running stuff. Under Armour pants. Look at how skinny this stuff was. These are pants that I was wearing in 2012 when I started running. Look at how skinny those were. And then exercise things. These are all Under Armour. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of clothing that I can't fucking wear and it's just heartbreaking these are so cute they're brand new this stuff is brand brand new all of these things I used to work out in all of this stuff is so cute my bike shorts I can't even wear my bike shorts because they're a size medium that is not for a small butt. It's for a normal size butt. But I can't wear them. 
Oh, I'm sure that these are, once again, never been able to wear these. Yep. And they're super long, so with cute high heels or something. And these, I think, are a size 14. Yeah, 14. You can't wear a 14. I can't get from a 16 to a 14 to be able to wear those jeans. <sighs> And even stuff for dress up. Like, I used to love these pants. I can't wear those pants. All my cute little booty shorts that I used to work out in. Look at these cuties. I used to wear these all the time. Look at how little these are. Well, in comparison to me, that's very little. I used to wear these all the time. I can't wear that shit, but I'm going to. I'm going to wear these things again. Yeah, my booty shorts. Workout things. These little Under Armour guys. And I've got these in two different colors. These aren't like petite clothing. This is normal girl clothing. I should be able to wear this stuff. So yeah, like... Like these sweatshirts... They're size XL. I should be able... And these are tight on me. And like all of my clothes are getting completely threadbare. Um, because I have to wear the same thing every single day. Super frustrating, y'all. Super... Oh, panties. All my panties are going to hell right now. Look at all these little, look at all these little pants that I can't wear because they don't fit me. They used to fit me. They used to fit me really well. And now they don't. This is probably, I don't know, three or four hundred dollars in these. So sexy, so cute. I can't wear any of this anymore. I should be able to wear these things. They should fit me. They should be awesome. <laughs> and it's bullshit that I don't. I, I, I can't wear them. It's, it's intensely upsetting to me. I used to wear these little cheekers from Victoria's Secret all the time. And not anymore. Brand new. Still with the tags. I'm really pissed off about these. Um, badger. These badger, like, Victoria's Secret things. That if I just drop a few pounds, I would fit into all this stuff. And these are size large. We're not even talking. We're not even talking about going from an XL to a small. Anyway... That was my, um, I will fit into them again file. Um, just putting this in front of myself is important. And thank you for sharing with me. Peace. And so as you watch that video, you'll realize that that tote is in my bedroom right now. And I'm eyeing up a key, couple of key pieces of clothing, like those little red jeans. I want to wear those firecrackers again. Um, and then I would like to tell you that I brought out those bags of um, Victoria's Secret underwear and high five already, gals. I'm into a lot of that those underpants again and, and it came right at the right time because you know as I was kind of losing weight um, I didn't know that I was going to be able to fit into them and I was thinking oh my stuff doesn't fit and, and and now it's not that I can't afford it it's just I'm hesitant to buy things until I'm kind of at a place I'm you know where I'm in a place to just go and buy a bunch of stuff because I'm at my goal not to have to buy interim stuff so I really plan on living in leggings until you know right around January February time frame which is knock on wood right around the time I'm hoping to to get to my goal um, so I'm into some of that stuff um, right now actually was this jacket in that if not I mean hand to God you guys I couldn't zip this um, even you know maybe 
two months ago. Um, so that's cool. Um, so uh, the next video I call the black sweatshirt in my office. And um, this is this is pain incarnate, you guys. Um, not only had I started keto again and failed and fell off the wagon again, and this is just me punishing myself over my failure. Let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so I haven't wanted to film this, but I promised myself I would, and it's on my calendar to do it today. Um, so today is uh, the 8th of January, 2018. So my first uh, vlog section of 2018. Um, I fell off the wagon and cheated quite a bit over the holidays. A lot of drinking. Um, I had a bad cheat meal, actually cheat day yesterday. Um, but I promised myself I wasn't going to consider it having to start over. Um, this has to become part of my life. It is part of my life. It's got to be the will, the way, everything about it. Um, keto just rocks my world. Um, it makes me feel great. And overall, I feel a lot better. Um, I'm working through, you know, emotional issues, personal issues. I know that um, getting on board with working out is going to be really helpful. I just have to actually do it. So, um, I, I'm going to try to find a way to become more action oriented instead of specific goal oriented. Um, where my smart goals and my, uh, personal health goals and that type of thing have always been related to, I want to weigh 175 pounds again. You know, that's where I felt really good. And, and, uh, I was doing really good things with my life and uh, I, I, I think I need to set a goal around just doing uh, just doing things and just being um, okay with the result as long as I'm doing something. So today I said that I was gonna <laughs> gonna film this and make it difficult and make it hard and and uh, that's what I'm doing. So until next time, peace out y'all. The thing that I can count on in this video is I had nothing left. I was so disgusted with myself and my life and where my life was heading that, you know, even speaking to it was something I just didn't want to do. I was just pissed off all the time. And, you know, I think a lot of it was the financial, but also, you know, the one thing that I should be able to control, which is what I put in my mouth. And, you know, I just... I just felt completely out of control. And um, I can tell you that I stayed that way for a long time, even that, that spring into 2018, when fi my financial stuff started going better and I picked up my next client. And even though I was clawing myself back from all of that, I was depressed the entire time. And that this video is just absolutely, you know, depression really incarnate. That's all that is. So next, this one I call the pink sweatshirt. Um, the big thing that sticks out into this is, um, for all my lady friends out there, the, what hormones mean and how having fluctuating hormones is so hard to deal with. And keto really does help with that. And I recognized it at the time. Um, so let's go ahead and, and check out what I had to say at that point about um, my hormones. Oh, so not a lot to say today. Uh, I restarted keto for like the fourth time on the 22nd of De uh, January here. Um, obviously, I feel really good. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble with lack of control, um, especially with my nighttime snacking. Um, so I'm just going to need to really get into finding some keto foods and that type of thing. But um, this vlog actually is about... Um, so I started my period on the 11th of January and I honestly, I was done on the 17th and I spotted for about another 7 or 8 days and my skin went crazy. Yesterday I actually had... Um, that's a huge cystic acne there that, and of course I can't stop picking at it. Um, but like my face right here was super red, which is obviously some type of a reaction to food. 
Uh, I'm not sure, maybe an allergy or something, but I've been really eating like garbage. So that was a really big wake up call that, hey, you know, you're not a spring chicken anymore. Um, the way I eat is affecting my hormone levels, just like it did in 2013. It's affecting me now. Um, so that's going to be, um, I guess a switch over in mentality needs to happen. Um, the way I eat affects so many things in my life that I really need to make sure that I'm consistent. Um, so that's that. I will talk to you later. Bye. Wow. And you know, uh, interesting enough, you know, I just finished my, um, my cycle and, you know, other than I think I talked about, I had a little pimple on the side of my face with keto. All of that just goes away. You guys, well, at least it does for me. I mean, um, I know I always need to disclose this, but if you're having troubles, make sure you always see your doctor for advice, but you know, it's out there all over ketogenic diet is is a diet that really levels out your hormones especially if you're willing and able to not take in too much dairy um but you know just seeing that um i just i just can't believe i was in that spot i just really can't believe it so as you can see even back then i was trying i was i was trying to move myself forward and just really trying to make something stick. And I think that once my business started to take off and my financial aspect really started to square itself away, um, some of that comfort with myself and, and, you know, even able, being able to buy myself some new yoga pants and that kind of, cause I do actually work from home. So I live in yoga pants, but even to just, you know, buy myself a couple of things and make me feel a little bit more normal, get my hair cut because you guys can see it. I was so broke. I, I had to cut my own hair you know, and that was just a really, that was just a really icky, you know, time in my life. And it's just not something I'm going to revisit uh, again. After this, I'm deleting all of that, you guys. That's a person that's gone now. I'm here and I'm, I'm better for what I went through. I really am. So last, um, my last video that I'm going to share with you tonight is actually about P90X and my last, um, my last, uh, week eight update, which was two months for me down 16 inches and 24 pounds. I think I'm at, um, I was doing P90X then, but you know what, for some reason, and I don't know what it is. And I have to assume that it's attitude. I'm not even that person working out. I granted I was heavier than I am now, but just watch what I look like while I'm, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of a workout. I just got done with my first day of P90X3. It was accelerator, which is kind of an up down cardio based workout. It was really hard. I couldn't do a lot of it. I can't do burpees or really, I mean, I could do squats, but not very well. Um, I took a little video of me trying to do it. I'm just really slow and all of that, but that was expected. Um, <clears throat> and also, I mean, I've done some working out while I was in, um, Colorado, which is our home is about 6,600 feet above sea level. So I know that some of this is going to be getting used to the, uh, altitude, but look, I got some sweat, um, uh, tomorrow I'll be working out in the morning. So day one, peace out. Isn't that crazy, you guys? <laughs> in comparison to what I was last week, and uh, I'm going to link last week's video above so you can check that out. Just the attitude. Just, I feel like, I feel like a go-getter right now. Like I can, like I can conquer the world. And I definitely think that that is getting fully into ketosis. That is um, having some success under my belt, which I really do feel like I, I'm doing. And I'm preparing for that level out, you guys, especially while, while I'm working out and starting working out. Hence the reason for No Way November. And I said it in the last video and I will say it, I will say it now. If I am 204 pounds, which is the last weight that I gave that I took of myself about two weeks ago, 
if I'm that same weight on December 1st and I'm down, you know, another 10 inches or, or anything like that, I'm going to be fine with that because I feel great. I am mentally in a better spot. I'm just overall a happier person. And I really do attribute that with the success I'm getting and alternate day fasting, you guys. Uh, I just really think that that is a key to leveling out your hormones. So if you're stuck or stalled or you have hormone issues like I do, look into doing some intermittent fasting. Check out Dr. Jason Fung and um, I think he's the dietdoctor.com. He's a wonderful source if you're interested in, in doing some intermittent fasting. and He's all over on YouTube too with all the science and cool background stuff about how you can make intermittent fasting a part of your life. So um, that's all I have. Um, for tonight, you guys, uh, thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here for me. Thank you for being a part of my tribe. I appreciate you and your journey. If you have a journey and you want to share some stuff with me, please comment below. I really do care what you have to say, and I will res I will respond to every comment and every question. And uh, I want you to be here, and, and uh, I want to be inspired by you as well. So once again, my name is Heather, and this is Fierce Fit Keto. Like and subscribe, you guys. I'd love for you to be part of this. I'm looking forward to next time. Have a good night. Bye.